हेलो एवरीवन आई एम संयुक्ता होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी लर्निंग दिस एंटेंगल पैटर्न हाइब्रिड हाइब्रिड इज आल्सो इज एंटेंगल ओरिजिनल एंड इट इज मेनली अ पैटर्न व्हिच इन्वॉल्व्स लाइन वर्क प्लेन लाइन वर्क एंड लेट अस स्टार्ट राइट अवे एंड आई एम गोइंग टू बी ड्राइंग हियर सेट ऑफ टू पैरेलल लाइंस सो these two double lines running parallel to each other and then a zigzag shape or you can say consecutive v shapes right so after drawing this zigzag what we are going to do is i've drawn a line parallel to this line and then again another line on the other side again a line parallel to this line and the same exercise on the other side right again a line parallel to this line the same exercise on the other side right so you can note i am not crossing the lines one line this side and simultaneously on the other side again this side simultaneously on the other side the strokes are if you remember we have already learned the pattern betweed the strokes are similar to how we draw the pattern betweed right we draw betweed like this but the only difference is in betweed these lines are emanating from the same point but in case of hybrid they are running parallel to each other and i am not going to be adding any weight at the end of the lines as i do in betweed right so repeating the same exercise a line running parallel to this line again same exercise on the other side again straight line same exercise on the other side again straight line same exercise on the other side so we are forming this kind of woven or criss cross look and that is how the pattern hybrid is drawn the same exercise is done on the other side also if you want you can rotate your tile i am comfortable this way so i am drawing it this way so straight line lines running parallel to each other again the same lines on the other side so we are getting this kind of a criss cross look right so again to show you straight line parallel to this line again on the other side so we are joining adding lines on both sides of the triangle inside the triangle and simultaneously right so this is the triangle we are working on a line parallel to this side of the triangle again on the other side again the same exercise and that's how we get the pattern hybrid so is it that we have to be drawing hybrid between two straight lines only i'll show you some examples you can see here i have drawn a curved line right so giving a mild curve to my hybrid repeating the same exercise but with a mild curve lines right so that's why i said that the steps are similar to what we do in betweed but the look is different because there is no adding of weight and the lines are running parallel to each other again to show you here there is a mild curve in the lines and the pattern is the same hybrid right so i have added a mild curve line in this one you can see the two lines are not running in their Uh, the outer lines are not parallel to each other i have added a curve to the lines and again you can draw hybrid in between the lines again this is another variation that you can see right the lines are emanating from one point and just draw hybrid inside or you can draw hybrid in any shape you want this is a patch and i have filled it up with hybrid how can you bring about some interesting variations in the pattern for example i don't want to fill up both sides of the triangle with the same lines so i just 
fill one side with the lines and incorporate some other tangle on the other side right so i have added a printum on the other side of the v to bring about a variation in the original tangle so that's a variation again there are n number of ways which you can bring about a variation right again a variation that you can create right again if i don't want to use simple lines here i can just you know this is a fragment that i am using here so again a variation i am not using lines on both sides instead use another tangle or set of tangles right so now we are going to be drawing a tile so this is my tile i have used a simple string here as you can see these are two parallel lines then few curved lines and then some sun rays kind of lines emanating from this curved lines right so each of these sections we'll be using to draw the pattern hybrid so let's start straight away so i'm going to be inking these lines because these lines are an integral part of the tangle pattern hybrid so i'm going to be inking these lines right so as we proceed we'll keep on inking the lines also so now let's start with the original first we'll do just the straight lines right again rotating my tile take your time concentrate on each stroke keep rotating your tile for ease of hand position right so again place your tile the way your hand is most comfortable and just draw the lines this portion also we can draw the same yes so again this part also we'll draw our hybrid again again as you can see the pattern mostly involves lines so it is simple line work right so again rotating the tile and doing the same exercise on the other side also lines running parallel to each other not crossing each other right to give a woven look so now we are going to move on to these semicircles so for the semicircles you can either use same straight line zigzag or give a mild curve right so it's entirely up to you so mild curve to the lines again a mild curve to the lines
Again, the same exercise. Again. Right? So I have added a mild curve to the lines. You can add a small semicircle inside and just fill it in so that the space doesn't look empty. Again, we'll do the same exercise with the semicircle, second one also. So I am inking the double lines. Again, adding a somewhat a little curved zigzag, right? A mild curve, and then I'll be filling it in the same way. A mild zigzag. Right. I'm repeating the same exercise but added a slight curve to the lines. You can see the flow of lines is similar to that in bedweed. Right. Again on the other side, same exercise. Right. Then the third. I'm going to be filling it up in the same way. You can see here, I have uh, filled up all the three semicircles in the same way. Now we are going to be filling up these sections. So in these sections just we will have some fun with the pattern. I am going to be filling up some part as the basic pattern should be. And we will have some fun with the rest of the sections. So as I have already shown you, let us separate. these two sections and then probably add a printer mirror. I am not going with the basic but instead adding a variation right. Again going to be drawing the basic in this triangle right and then do something different in the other two probably again what I have already shown you add lines like these in the other two sections, right? So you can always take inspiration from the tangles that we have already learned till now in our previous sessions and then incorporate them in one or the other way as a variation, right? So again, we will come to the third. Again, I'll fill up this part as hybrid should be. Right, again a touch here. 
and in these two sections if I don't want to go the traditional way so probably I'll fill it up with some tipple right tipple is a tangle we have already learnt so just let's use it and play around with our hybrid small big ones or you can use small ones only the way you want to right so again fill up one portion the way it should be same here right and then with the rest of the two sections we have learned a lot of patterns by now so let us give it a Bronx cheer right I'm going to use simple patterns here since the primary tangle that we are learning here is hybrid so we are going to concentrate more on drawing hybrid and then just going to show you a few variations how we can play around with the pattern right so added some bronze cheers here yeah again the same exercise You can see how the lines are expanding but that's not an issue. You can fit in the pattern anywhere, any way you want. Just remember the basic strokes. Right. So again. drawing the basic pattern in two of the triangles by now you must have got a hold of how the lines are right and for the rest of the sections again we have already learned the pattern crescent moon so what we can do is Add a moon shape at the at the V adding a moon right and then auras is all that you need to do so adding auras to my crescent moon. You see, I'm breaking my lines at the same place every time I repeat the aura. This is the technique of highlighting, which we'll be covering in one of our future classes. So, again, I don't think the moon will show here. So, just adding auras. Right? So the same exercise, you can see here I have filled up all the sections and added some variations in every section just to give you an idea how we can play around with the pattern. So this is again I have incorporated betweed here 
a triangular shape here crescent moon some bronze chairs and tipple and a whole lot of variations that you can create right so now we come to shading hybrid so how do we shade the pattern generally what we do is on these two lines to the inside we add some graphite right if you wish you can also add some weight to the inner line so as to give the effect of a shadow right so you can add some weight to the line inside and some graphite here and then blend it in right So generally that's the way you go about shading your hybrid. So if you wish what you can do is add some graphite on this crisscross, right? Where the lines are crossing each other, add some graphite on that and then blend it in. You can use either or or both, right? So that's how you generally shade a hybrid. If you wish, you can also highlight these triangles if you want, right? So add some graphite to this triangle and then blend it in. So in this shading you are basically highlighting the triangle shape and some graphite on the crossing. Again highlighting the triangle. Right. So that is one more way you can go about shading your hybrid. Right. So let's shade our tile now so I'm just adding some I'll use my PN to highlight one side to add some dimension right so adding little weight on one side of the line to add some the feeling of a shadow to add some dimension and then add some graphite you can also choose to add graphite just on one side of the line right so there are a number of ways that you can shade it just go by your instincts how it is looking good so since the lines are not very thick ones I don't want to be totally covered so I can also add graphite just on one side of the line just giving a small touch right? and then with the very light hand just going to blend it just ensure that you don't blend it too much so as to cover the entire section right so you can see the look of the tangle changes immediately as you add the shading right again going to be adding some graphite on the inside On both sides not adding any weight on these right just adding some graphite on the inside just make sure you do not put too much of it because you don't want 
the whole section to be grey. Right. So now we'll quickly blend it in. With the light hand just circular strokes right again the same exercise You can see how the look of the pattern changes as you add shades of grey. Right. And then again, you need to add some weight on the inside of these lines. Just to add a little dimension. Yeah, and then the same exercise. I think in this one, I'll just add graphite on one side. Let's see. So we'll just add graphite on one side and let's see how does it look. So I've done that. And then we are going to blend it. You can see I'm covering almost half of the section, putting the graphite towards almost the center of the section. We are almost done, right? So you can see. How you can shade the same tangle in different ways. So I am now going to pick up my white charcoal 
and add some highlight right just to give the impression of a shine right this is general white charcoal i have already introduced this tool in my earlier sessions i'm just going to highlight so the section which is lighter i'm just going to add some white charcoal on it right You can use a blending stump if you wish, a different blending stump of course, not the black one, to just take away the excess charcoal. So that's the pattern hybrid, right? So take a moment to appreciate your tile and uh, I'm going to be initialing it somewhere here. And then sign and date it. So, in the next session, we'll learn another news and tangle original. Till then, take care and goodbye.